I think I was saying that earlier. Um, the first clutch set is cool, fully cool, right? The second clutch set is not as cool. So we don't do the slippage on the second clutch set. We always slip on the first clutch set. Uh, so that's, so vehicles starting from uh, from rest, or if you're holding a hill or something, you'll be in the first uh, first. When you have it in automatic, is, is that like a Honda where it's a little bit jerky? Nope. Not jerky. Nope. Uh, the, the, the comparison with the Honda is an insult. <laughs> okay. It's uh, no different. It's an insult. It's, an insult. Um, it's, it's completely different. We need to try the automatic mode. Uh, we have two. I don't know if that's Where we test most things is one in the first where we are in the center in the Clyde Big track there. But we went out to the desert so many times. I'm surprised we didn't get any spy shots from our desert testing. But we've been uh, we've been in the big in the big dunes and in the big woods in the desert several times. But the shift but to can you fail it? Shift? What do you mean the fail to jump over it? An automatic? Can you fail it? Changing? You hear the noise a little bit. You can feel the, the it, slight. It, it change. depends. So when you when you noise wise when you when you put in the first gear, you hear you hear a clump. This is a non synchronized sport gearbox, so it's not the same what you have in your Volkswagen or whatever you you have. Uh, um, it's a different it's a different beast. So you hear the clump, so you know the gear is in and not only uh, visible. And then when you're driving, always the next gear is pre-selected from the gearbox. So when you're starting in the first, the second one. Uh, is already there so when you when you then get to the point where you want to where you want to shift either you do it manually or the automatic does it for you uh, you have already the second one in and you're just changing the two clutches and you're in the second gear the same with the third and so on and so on why i said it's an insult if you compare it with the honda the honda is a fine machine so don't get me wrong it's just with a complete different approach on that one because they're cutting torque on the engine then they're Placing all the stuff and then they're connecting back, so you have a, you have quite a bumpy. If you're if you're going full throttle with this machine, you have to follow the screen to know in which gear you are. This goes so fast, you will not feel it. When you're shifting downwards, depending on how you do it, for example, you're shifting on the brake, so you're sharp braking into a corner, then you hear the gears wah, 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 going down. Uh, so you you hear it more by engine noise than by than by shifting noise. The tilt ratio, uh, what does it have compared to the original Maverick? The roll? Uh, the roll, yes. Like I think so the Maverick was 39 degrees, I believe. Oh, the tilt, uh, the yeah. hang tank? Yes. Uh, so 50. 50? Uh, that's for oil, I believe, right? Yeah. Uh, but the, he's talking about something different. It's more oh, like vehicle oh. stability. The yeah, hang vehicle, tank vehicle stability. Oh, so, okay. so it's it's actually, it's usually a tag when they're sold to tell yeah. you what the I don't know the is. exact angles, but essentially we've raised the vehicle. Yeah. So we have to meet this ROVA requirement, which is a steering input. And then the vehicle needs to not flip, essentially. So uh, it's essentially it's, uh, dependent on the wheel, the, the track, the large, the, the width of the vehicle, and how high the CG is, and all the suspension, how it works. But we were able to raise the vehicle to 17 inch and still achieve this requirement. Uh, the vehicle is very predictable. It's very hard to flip this machine. I know one this, who yeah. did it. But I know one as well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's oh, tough yeah. to flip it. You, you really have to do things wrong. Yeah. Um, and you was talking about on the hill and holding it in gear. Is that, is there, there's surely a limit on how hard you want to do it. And this is what Gabriel was talking about. If you do this, if you do this with this vehicle and you hold it, as the clutch is pulled, it holds much, much longer than you would think. Uh, your belt would burn oh, by, yeah. by that. If you're used so, to a belt-driven vehicle, you will not abuse it to a point where you have issues. But you can, I mean, if you, at one point in time, uh, um, the cooling will be not sufficient. So if you're going super steep hill uh, and, and you hold it there forever, I'm not sure what was our longest point. It derates. Point. Yeah. It derates then. So the, 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 the power goes down because the temperature okay. cli starts climbing. It will protect itself. But when you're rocking on up a hill, you know, you're going fast, then you slow down, then you speed up. Is that thing going to be shifting back and forth? And it's but seamless. It's, okay. That's, idea, what, and that's why we emphasize all this. 
the second gear is pre-selected. The, the next gear is always pre-selected, right? So there's overlap between, you know, the, the first watch is not just opening or closing while the second is in another state. They're seeing, like they're changing each other. They're handing over the torque first and second, and it's seamless. That's the idea of it. So even if it's shifting a lot, you don't feel it, and you don't feel torque interruption. So it behaves 